Okay, I'm back. I wanted to show you the high voltage output from this flyback transformer that I showed in the last video. With this circuit, you can find it anywhere on the net. It's basically a 2N3055 with a couple of resistors, and you have to wind a couple windings on the core of the uh, flyback transformer. It's from an old color TV set. Um, I found the ground. Easy way to find the ground, I uh, forget who it was, I saw it. Um, is to hook it all up circuitry, it's hooked up to a 12 volt battery and then uh, flick it on and take your output and then stick it near each terminal and it'll gravitate towards your best ground anyways but uh, yeah that's it, real simple you want to have a heat sink um, the transistor will get smoking hot if you don't it gets a little warm even with a big heat sink I wanted to show the output. Uh, last video it was more blue purple color and it just sizzled. Uh, this one's going to snap and it'll be white. But I um, want to show the difference with it hooked up to this high voltage capacitor. It's a salt water capacitor. Uh, I think it's what Tesla was into using. It's tank capacitors in his circuits, his high voltage circuits. And they're used uh, a lot of times in uh, Tesla coil setups. But basically it's an instant coffee glass jar. Um, I've wrapped it in aluminum foil, duct taped it. I have a, a terminal on the side here. That's the negative ground. I've put a piece of wood on the lid. I've screwed it from underneath there uh, to hold this terminal so I can attach to it nicely. But it basically there's an iron rod going down in the middle. And uh, it's a high voltage capacitor. And you'll see the output is whiter louder than the last video than the blue sizzly ones this is more snappy lightning -y. Um, it scares my dog and he goes upstairs when he hears it <laughs> but uh, also I wanted to say point out that uh, in true Canadian fashion I've incorporated duct tape in this project and also uh, zip ties I got zip ties on there <laughs> so I got both uh, both angles there. Red green would be happy. <laughs> Hello Johan. Anyways, uh, I want to show you the difference. Here we go. Well, I'm going to turn around. There we go. Much louder. Much louder. Causes causes a distortion of my camera I know it's Tons of fun. Uh, turn her off. And you, if you're going to use one of these things, you want to make sure that you discharge your capacitor. But anyways, uh, probably be making more of these, and uh, it's got salt water in it. I'll be playing probably with um, uh, baking soda and different mixtures to see what works best. But until uh, next time.